I'm here at Manchester University with the latest issue of the Mancunian newspaper, which has a Manchester-themed crossword in it. And I'm going to test today the knowledge of Manchester University students to see how well they know the city that they live in. Welcome back to this episode of Roadwise. Is anybody not going to a lecture and has five minutes for a crossword? How's your Manchester knowledge? Not good. Good. Crossword? <laughs> nope. Is there any questions about Harry Styles? Because I can answer those. There are none about Harry Styles. He's not a famous Mancunian, I'm afraid to oh, say. Okay. It isn't actually even a kilometre long. Uh, Curry Mile. Curry Mile is correct. Okay. Meteorological phenomenon that Manchester is renowned for. The no, Hubble Telescope, is it? Um, Rain. Rain is correct. Do you know who the mayor of Greater Manchester is? <laughs> no, not who. He's Labour. Yes, he is. Oh, God, I should know. Um, he's like Andy something. Andy is his first name. It's like if you're t roasting uh, some pig. Roasting some pig? Burnham. Oh, Burnham. Incumbent mayor, Andy Burnham. Andam Burnham. Andam. Andam, a great man. <laughs> the great man indeed. He was at the student union the other day. Did you see? Yeah, he's a lovely guy. I asked him if he liked the style council and he said, yeah, kind of. Yeah. The author of a fairly well-known manifesto that was primarily written in the Central Library. Marx. Karl Marx, indeed. He wrote it here? He wrote the Communist Manifesto in the Central Library. What? Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. Crossword? That's all right. You hear him before you see him. He's an iconic figure, often seen on a, on a bicycle or electric scooter, blasting the tunes oh, down okay. Oxford Road. The radio guy. Yeah. 50 Cent, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 50 Cent. Yeah, 50 Cent frequents the University of Manchester <laughs> campus. Yeah. Well, obviously he has a name. Well, he's got, a, he's got like a moniker that people call. I don't know if it's his actual name. Um, speaker guy. Yeah. Oh, I know him. I don't know his name. You'd, oh, you don't know his name? No, what is his name? Boombox Barry. Oh, I did know that. Blank Rothwell. She's the chancellor of the university. Oh, Nancy. Nancy Rothwell is correct. The one and only. Palace of Manchester. Crystal. Palace. It's in the northern quarter. Oh. I see things. I yeah. don't know the names of things. <laughs> it's famous for having like goth shops and oh, funky oh, stuff. Oh, um, Affleck. Affleck's Palace. Oh my god. Are you a frequent consumer of Affleck's goods? Um, it's quite expensive. Yeah. I like to walk around it though. Oh my god. Did, you wrote this, didn't you? I did, I did make this. That's very cool. Thank you. But how about the popular soft drink that was invented in Manchester? Vimto. Vimto is correct. Is Vimto? It's like a Ribena it's sort of thing. thing. You never yeah. see it, but a load no. of the Milton Keynes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sweating. This is a lot of pressure now. <laughs> Do you know the name of Manchester's basketball team? Oh no. It's named after very large mythical beings. It's the Giants. No. I don't think anybody knows that. No. To be fair. Crossword. No. Fresher's favourite nightclub in town. Factory, Factory is, is Factory? correct. Factory's yeah. Favorite? With Fresher's, and then they sort of wake up and realise that exactly. it's That's not really that good. <laughs> it is Factory. <laughs> what a horrid boy. <laughs> Manchester University's sworn enemies. Man Met. Man, it's got to be Man Met. I'm like Manchester Met. So oh, you're at Man Met. Like yeah, that was that one. We don't like to, to touch on yeah. touch on that for too long. Do you ever find yourself in the Students' Union? Sometimes, yeah. Do you know what the name of the building is called? It's named after a guy called Steve, right as you walk in. Oh. It's the Steve something Hooper? building. Steve Scott Buttons. No. Steve what? It starts with a B. No. <laughs> All right, I'd say we're maybe halfway done. Can we finish the crossword before the rain comes in? That is the question. Oh, you know the Stopford building? How would you describe its roof? Tall, big, flat, brown. Flat. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Supine position that many students find themselves in during the summer in Platfields. Supine, Supine, Supine just means flat. Lying down. Lying down <laughs> is correct. I was like, what? I've never been to Platfields. Really? Yeah, shocking. What about the home of famous two for one meals? Oh, crowbar. Crowbar it is. On my way there right now. Are you? What are you going to get? No idea. Okay. Mancunian band comprising of Bucket Hat Sporting Brothers. Is that the Happy Mondays? Oasis. Oasis, famously from Manchester. <laughs> Enigmatic Allen. Correct. Oh, the name of the university's student radio and TV station. Oh, Fuse. Fuse. What, what's the clue for that one again? Name name of the university's oh. student radio and TV station. Fuse, Fuse TV Fuse and radio. TV. Oh. Are we on Fuse? Yeah. Yes, you are. Oh, wow, hello. One across, the city that was nicknamed Cottonopolis in the 19th century. 
Hey, I'm not in the 19th century, mate. The clue, <laughs> the clue is the theme of the crossword. Manchester. Manchester. Oh, that's good. It ties the whole puzzle together. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help, my sir. Very nice to see you again. Appreciate it. Yeah. There we go. That's the crossword complete. Hey. Thank you for your help. That's all right. If you guys want to take a copy of the Mancunian, this crossword is is in there. Thanks hey, for thanks so smashing much. it with us. Thanks no to problem. See you again. Good to see can you we get again. To plug stuff? Oh yeah, you can plug stuff as much as you want. Um, follow you. Well, there we go. We have ourselves a finished crossword. Make sure to pick up yourself a fresh copy of the Mancunian newspaper, where you can find this very crossword yourself, and maybe this video helps you solve it. Make sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.